Dear students, uh, welcome to the YouTube channel H2O Chemistry. I am Satya Narayan and your chemistry teacher. So in our previous video, we have learned that the uses of uh, non-metals, for example, we have learned about nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, chlorine, etc. In this video, we are going to talk about the next type of uh, element that is called metalloids or semi-metal. So, what is the meaning of this metalloid or semi-metal? So, whenever you come across this word semi, it means partial. So, these elements have partial character of metals as well as non-metals. That is the reason they are called as semi-metals. Now, so we have uh, categorized the elements into three types, uh, metals, non-metals and metalloids, based on the properties. So, the properties of metalloids are the combination of metals and non-metals. Okay, what are metalloids? You could see uh, the green color area, we call step by step, okay, we can including this polonium, so it is given in wrong color. So, the boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, and uh, tellurium and polonium. So, these elements are non-metals otherwise called semi-metals so we are going to learn about these elements in this video I hope this video will be very interesting one we will uh, see the topic called metalloids now what are metalloids the elements which exhibit the properties of metals and as well as non-metals are called metalloids so there are some examples of uh, um, metalloids boron you could see the boron and silicon and arsenic germanium antimony tellurium and polonium so all these uh, are called as metalloids otherwise called as semi metal because the properties of the metals and non metals are combined here that's the reason they are called metalloids or semi-metals. Now, let us go to the some physical properties of metalloids. You could see the picture. It says about nickel metalloid alloys. So, metalloids are generally you could see the solid at room temperature. You could see the picture. Now, another interesting fact about uh, this uh, polonium. The polonium element was discovered by Marie Curie, is a very famous uh, chemist and uh, she is a famous chemist. One more information, she got Nobel Prize both chemistry and physics. So no scientist has ever done this before. So it is a very interesting fact about this polonium. Now come back to these uh, properties. Metalloids are solid at room temperature. You could see the picture, solid or solids. Now, the next is uh, we can prepare alloys from this metalloid. So, we can combine with metals and metalloids. You could see nickel combined with the boron, arsenic, tellurium. So, it forms an alloys. It forms an alloys. So, that's what uh, we can prepare. The first point you could see some of uh, metalloids such as silicon, germanium. Um, can act as a like electrical conductors under specific conditions thus they are called semi-metals and they can form alloys with other metals that's what I explained as a first point the second one electrical conductors you could see some IC body or integrated circuits in most of the integrated circuits they use silicon and germanium even TV, TV remotes every kind of remotes that uh, has a silicon in it, it's an any circuit has it's which is made up of silicon. Silicon, for example, appears luscious. You could see luscious, but it's not malleable and ductile. What do you mean by malleable and ductile? Malleable means it can beat in, it can be beaten into sheets. What about uh, ductile? We can drown into sheets. These two properties cannot be done in silicon. So it's brittle, so it easily breaks and. Uh, it is a, it's a much poorer conductor of heat and electricity than other metal but in certain conditions 
the same metal by adding some impurities we can make them as a good conductor so that's called we call semiconductors now look at this uh, area their um, physical properties are more like of those metals so when you look at the color and uh, um, the appearance and the density and other properties like uh, melting and boiling point all such a cases they are similar like uh, metals whereas all their chemical behavior are more like that of uh, non metals so the physical properties is like uh, metals whereas their chemical properties are like non metals that's the reason they are combined they are combination of metal and non metals so many atomic properties are intermediate between metals and non metals that's the reason they are called metalloids or semi metals so that's what is discussed in the last point now let us go to the uh, some applications of metalloids the metalloids applications use of metalloids silicon is used in the electronic devices i could see the circuits all circuits ic boards everything is mainly manufactured with the use of silicon in it now next is boron is used in the fireworks wherever you see this green color light in the fireworks they use uh, the substance called boron nowadays because it's very eco friendly that's the reason they use this boron and the next one as uh, the fuel for ignition in rockets i could see the green color uh, light so that is an ignition i can say ignition point so it is used as a material fuel okay in the rocket so you can see the picture where the boron is used as an ignition fuel for ignition in the rockets you can see here now these are the applications of metalloids i hope no this video will be very helpful in understanding the segment called metalloids we will see more in our next video subscribe for more videos here you can learn chemistry conceptually thank you so much my dear children